Hi everybody, Wicked Penny here. It's, uh, what time is it? Oh, let's see. It's like 3.34 in the afternoon. I just went and visited my brother and sat with him and watched a movie. We watched Forrest Gump, but I kept calling him, calling Forrest Jimmy, Jimmy Gump. He laughed. It was funny. You got to find humor in tragedy or despair. And we've, and you know me, I add a little humor all the time. So anywho, quick recipe today, guys. Quick, quick, quick. Now, I don't know if a lot of you are going to like this one. Um, me and Keith love it. My mother used to make it for our family. I don't think my brother Jimmy liked it so much, but um, we love it. It's called tuna noodle casserole. I am going to show you how I make it, and if you'd like to add things um, on your own, but this is the traditional tuna noodle casserole. Um, when I get to the crumb topping, I'll tell you what we use, and I'll tell you a few substitutes. So real quick, I'm going to turn you down so you can see. Here's my pot, okay? This I'm just going to use as a vessel to stir everything up in, and I just, I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. And the only reason I turned on the, the oven, I have a cup of milk here. The only reason I turned on the oven is um, so the, the, the ingredients incorporate pretty good together, okay? So I put a, a cup of milk in here, and right here I have a can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, if you don't like cream of mushroom, feel free. You can use cream of chicken. You know what else is actually very good, guys? I only tried it once, and we really liked it. I don't know why I didn't ever do it again. We like uh, the freaking cream of cheddar. It was pretty tasty with the tuna casserole. So you see, I just turned on the heat a little bit to um, break down that soup and that milk. Now, guys, this is a little trick of mine. You know the difference between albacore tuna, see how it's nice and white, and regular tuna? I find in this recipe two cans of albacore. There's just not enough tuna flavor in albacore. You know what I mean? Not enough. So I like the real deal. We use the, um, it's very strong smelling, the regular tuna, but uh, I just like to, you know, do both. I do this for my tuna salads too, guys. Um, those will be few upcoming future recipes, but I like to do both, one of each as well. I just think two of the regular kind, it's too strong. Two of the albacore is too weak of a tuna aroma. And then here's your regular, okay? It's two cans, any brands. I don't use the kind that's packed in oil. I use the kind that's packed in water, okay? So the tuna is there. Guys, doesn't get any easier than this, does it? Tuna. I have a can of peas here. I like the little ones, you know me. Teeny tiny, baby baby, stirry stirry, look at that, done, done. This is your base for your tuna noodle casserole, guys. That's it. I do add a teaspoon of black pepper, okay, and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, just like that. Now, not too sure how many cups of macaroni I need. So let me see, I'll be able to eyeball it and we'll count together. Here's one. I made a whole box. I know I don't use a whole box. Two, let me start off with three cups of this. Okay, let's see how we, how we look. Okay, that looks pretty good, actually. It looks pretty good. I want to make sure everything's coated nice. Okay. I use three cups. I think if I were to add any more macaroni, guys, I would probably use another can of, of soup. And now look at this. Just going to dump it. Look at this. It smells so good, guys. You might not think. Tasty, tasty. I'll move this over so you can see. But it's so good once it's done. Okay. Now this is a nine and a half by 13. You can use a small casserole dish. I butter this with real butter. I don't use spray. I just think the butter gives it a nice little crust on the outside. Okay. How's this? Look at this guys. Yummy. Yummy. Okay. 
Next. Four chips. Chippy chips. Let me turn this up a little bit. Guys, we're at five minutes. I need a little sip. I'm having a little tea. A tea party. Tea for one, please. Middle straw. Mmm. Ice cold. Guys, potato chips. I told you. You can use, use crushed up crackers, breadcrumbs, but in my house, my mother used potato chips. That's what we used. Crushed up nice. I put them all over. I'm going to let you see before I pop it in the oven. And you know, you're always in good ha hands when you pull out the foldies, like me. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Look. How easy was that, guys? How easy? I'm popping it in a 350-degree oven. Takes about a half hour. Everything's nice and bubbly. And you want the crust on the potato chips? When it's done, I'll pull you back in. We'll have a little tasty taste. And we'll see how you like it. Don't knock it till you try it. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. And you know what that means. Tasty, tasty. Scoopy, scoopy in a little bowl. Okay, I'm only going to have a little taste because it's for dinner tonight. And it's a little early for me to be eating my dinner. So I'm going to turn you down. Or actually, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it. Look at this, guys. Look at, look at that, all toasty. Mmm, warm, crunchy chips, right? That's easier for me to do. Just zoom in like that. You know, I'm all high tech. So, I'm gonna, I was gonna put it in a bowl. I'm gonna put it on a plate, guys, so you can see the creaminess, the crunchiness, it's so good. I mean, I understand you might not like tuna, but look, here's our smell o vision Look at that, guys. Crunchy chips, creamy, creamy tuna casserole. Oh, guys, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, on a chilly evening, hear that crunchy? Do you hear it? Mm-hmm. In there. Toasted. Mmm. Guys. You saw. I'm the weekend. Make your macaroni, throw it in the fridge. When you want to whip this together, throw it in the oven. A great hot casserole for your family on the fly. Mm-hmm. I never finished my tea. Mmm. It's so good. But that's the last one out of the 12-pack. I gotta get to the store. So anyway, give this recipe a try. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know how you liked it. And... Please don't forget to subscribe. Everybody have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the tuna noodle casserole. Peace.